hello everyone uh, welcome to this tutorial in this video we see how to create an ubuntu ec2 instance on the amazon web services that is aws right uh, so first let's go to the aws management console log into your uh, aws console like i've already logged in here as you're seeing on the screen now next thing like uh, go to the ec2 service so you can either check for the services here, search for it EC2, and then you can go to EC2 service. You will see the view dashboard view of the EC2. You can view the resources, how it's defined in the EC2, like various different resources, like instances, IP address, role balances, all these things. Right now there are no instances running. There is one key pair and one security group already created. This is created from the previous uh, while creating the previous EC2 instance now let's jump into this one so after you click on the EC2 dashboard now go to the instances you see the list of services that's a uh, list of servers that's running uh, right now currently there are no uh, instances or any um, VMs present now let's go ahead and create an instance here so th this we are going to create a new instance uh, Ubuntu based instance that is a very plain we will just uh, use all the default values uh, for creating the instance. Uh, we will only give the mandatory and required fields and then we will from. We will also create this is as a free tier um, in the free tier account. So we will create the resources with using the free tier eligible um, resources. Right. Uh, the first part as you are seeing on the screen launch an instance you need to provide a name. Uh, so let's name it as uh, like uh, DevOps tutorial for now. So application and the OS images, uh, like this is where you have to select the Amazon AMI machine, AMI, like AMI stands for Amazon Mission Image. That is basically, uh, uh, it's kind of template that will be packaged with operating system and other required applications. So there are a lot of AMIs available that is actually provided by the AWS and also there are AMIs that is available in the community uh, to select for different purpose. But we have for this tutorial, uh, we will just go with um, selecting the Ubuntu. So after you select the Ubuntu OS uh, AMI, then you see the AMI listed here. That's Ubuntu Server 22.04 um, uh, latest version, uh, the last <coughs> standard version. It's a free tier eligible. So you sell, keep as is, uh, then it gives the description, you keep the architecture same thing. It provides you the, it gives you the MID and select the free tier eligible uh, instance type that is t2.micro, do not go for any other uh, instance types that cost that incur some cost uh, which are not uh, free tier eligible now you have to create a key pair like you can also use the existing key pair that you have already selected that you, that you have already created earlier or you can create a new pair now for this tutorial let's go ahead and create a new pair this is actually required uh, when you sign when you want to log into this uh, server so let's give it a login So since I had the key pair with the uh, login, I'm just giving another uh, random name saying that uh, new login and then it should be a type of RSA. I want to generate the .png file and also there is an uh, option to generate the .ppk file. So if it's ppk file, you will only able to use it. I mean, you will only be able to log into the server only through putty. Uh, but if you have the PEM file, you can use some other uh, different uh, uh, SSH clients to log into the server. For now, I'll create PEM file. There is a way that we can create, we can convert this .pm PEM file to a PPK file uh, that we will see later in this uh, tutorial. For now, I'm selecting this .pm file and creating a new pair. So as soon as it creates, it is actually downloaded. So you have to save that uh, PEM file. Otherwise, you will not be able to log into this server. So now I have actually created a new uh, key pair and then I have actually given that key pair associated with this instance while I'm creating. Let's leave everything as is in the network settings. Do not change anything. Subnet, no preference. Like VPC is the default VPC that will be created. Like that's come up with the, that's come with the account when you create. So let's keep it as is. Let's uh, have this uh, enabled with public IP address. Firewall, coming to the security groups, there is a default security group will be available, but let's create a new security group that let's take care of, uh, let's AWS take care of creating the security group. We are just giving the instruction to create a new security group. So we will select that option. So it's saying that it will create a new security group called launch wizard one. 
so it is not allowing us to create a new like it is not letting us to provide the security group name it is just uh, letting us know that it is creating the launch wizard 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 one so now it is actually uh, what are the rules that it has so it has uh, uh, lo sss traffic from so it is for now it is not enabled https and http uh, traffic access to the repository uh, sorry to the registry server uh, so we will not require as well like for now it is not really required but we need to ssh into the machine so definitely it needs to have access to the ssh uh, traffic that is running on the port that basically runs on the port 22 so from there like from anywhere actually so there is no uh, specific ip address bounded to that so we can just log in from any other machine to this uh, ec2 instance uh, if it is uh, selected as anywhere or if you have any custom ip address that you want to log into the server for only from that particular custom ip address you need to give that uh, this is also giving you the current ip address but what we are under so it is my ip address uh, my network is is, uh, is under this ip address but I'll keep it anywhere for now. So keep it as is like uh, in the next stage, like you have to configure the storage. Like it is recommending that uh, 8, GB, 8 GB of the storage, uh, let's keep it. That is more than enough for our anything like um, for general purpose uh, uh, tutorials or the uh, learning something or doing some kind of POC. If in case it just requires more and more GB, we can add it further later also. So this is basically a type of GP2, general access SSD, general purpose SSD one of the type of uh, storage uh, it's not really not important to understand what exactly it is and what type of that storage is it storage it is for this tutorial but uh, as said right we will keep everything um, default except that we will let the aws create a new security group with the uh, name launch wizard one and we'll allow it uh, to ssh port uh, allow the traffic from the ssh uh, selecting it from anywhere Right, so you can have give the summary of the complete instance what we are going to create. It's the number of instances we have for now. We will create only one instance. So it is AMI Ubuntu based AMI that we have used t2.micro instance type, and then five walls we are creating a new security group that is allowing SSH and then um, from anywhere, and the storage is one volume C 8 GB. So that's it. Uh, then you click on the launch instance. Now it is actually spinning up the server. Now you will see that instance is launching. Now, if you go back to the instance, so you are, can also see the instance log here actually, the launching log. So it started initializing that one and created security groups done. So it has actually created the security, security group rules as well and the launch initiation has been done. So now if you go to the instances, there is one EC2 instance that is running on with the Ubuntu AMI created and in the running state in the instances list so it is success we have actually successfully completed uh, creating the uh, instance so that is eligible with, that we have created with the uh, free tire eligible resources so if you see the status check it is still doing some initialization uh, to check this L status so soon it will have that L state check will be updated for now it is already created what is the next thing we do so when we create an instance it is to do some kind of for some purpose right so we want we may not we may want to install some dependencies in it we may want to run it um, some application we want it we want it to use it as a web server anything right it's not just we create it and leave it so for that anything you want to do some operations on that server you first need to access that uh, server so how you access so basically all the linux missions uh, we generally log into that server using the ssh it's called secure shell right uh, that is basically default set to port 22 so we need some kind of tool or the client ssh client to log into this server so one of the tool called putty a well-known tool for the ssh client is basically putty at the same time we can also see like we have some different options as well uh, so it's still initializing i selected this one so uh, you now you want to connect to this server you click select this devops tutorial uh, ec2 instance that we just created and then you click on this connect it will show you the options here connect to the instance there are different types right so the most uh, used one is like ssh client uh, so ec2 instance connect is something that you will be able to connect to that instance directly from the aws console in the similar manner you just come here and just click on connect you will just be connected to the server instantly 
right so you are connected to the ubuntu machine that is just created right who am i host name so if you see this address right this is what the address defined for this uh, server so this is the address private ip address that is having for the instance it is actually there so now you connected to this one but it is not uh, really recommended to connect to the server like this and you do your operations or whatever the things you would like to do on the server uh, this is one of the recommended way but we generally do not actually log into the console every time and every day and then log into this machine we would use this uh, interface to connect to the uh, server there is another way like let's quit on this let's quit this uh, um, session for now like i'm just canceling it closing it so now I would like to connect to using the SSH client. So this is SSH client. So how do you use? So if you have any other kind of SSH client like uh, other than Putty and the Putty Gen or uh, there are some other tools, uh, extreme, some other thing like even SSH, uh, the Git Bash also you can use it as SSH client. So if you have your local system, uh, a Linux based uh, system like a Mac OS or anything like uh, Ubuntu, then you can directly use the SSH uh, from the uh, CLI commands right uh, that works but for now we will use the putty now let's go with the putty now before yeah, like when you launch the putty uh, so to connect to the server you need to provide the host name uh, username also you can give like you can provide the username in the session logging you can give the you have to give the host name here and then save it but actually you need the authentication to connect to that uh, server right so what is that authentication you have for so the new login key pair that we have generated while creating the instance so that is an rsa token that is got created and it is got downloaded into our local machine we have to use that one but that is basically in the dot png file so that is there uh, that is there in the downloads right so this is dot png file uh, this is not really uh, required uh, this is not like we have to convert this dot pm pem file into the ppk file this ppk file is basically putty's private key so how to generate that one so along with putty you will have another tool downloaded called putty gen so open that putty gen now you have to load that pem file so load an existing private key file that you have right you go go to here there now select for all files new login.pem is the file we have created open it so it will ask you to that uh, it will confirm you that it is access it is actually successfully imported so now you will click on the save private key so once you loaded your pem file that will be in this format ssh rsa file and then you save private key so it is asking us for the confirmation so without a uh, passphrase to protect it and generally we can also provide some uh, key uh, passphrase for that but it is not really required for now so go ahead confirm that you are uh, going to create now it is asking to save it and it is asking us to give a file name so i will just mention that as new login uh, for uh, understanding the difference i will give the new login to basically if you see the save as type is basically put this private key file so we are going to save it so now we have that ppk file generated and the pem file is now converted into ppk file i will close this key generator i have the putty open now i would like to connect to the ec2 instance now I'll go back to the previous screen. You have the instance here. Click on it. Get the IP address or the public IPv4 DNS address. So this is actually, you will see the details here. So once you created the uh, instance, it will have uh, bound with many other details like, you know, it has uh, instance ID, public IP address, and even the private IP address. It will have the host name and it will have the security group created for this and it is associated with this and uh, which, which part of vpc and uh, which P vpc it is uh, created under and uh, what subnet is got it is under actually so like many other details are there for now it is not really required we are just mainly focusing on getting the uh, access to the creating ec2 instance and then getting access to it so copy the ip4 address or you can like if you know the details like if you want to know how to connect come here hi ssh client 
So here you will give the details. Connect to your instance using its public DNS. You copy this one. Now come back to the putty and you give it here. Like in the session logging, if you want, if you would like to give. If you would like to give every time there is a user, like uh, for the Ubuntu OS machine in, we have created in the EC2 instance, comes with the default user called Ubuntu. So you need to use Ubuntu that you can also get the details here also, right? Now I have actually given auto login name user as Ubuntu. Then, then in the session, I've given the host address. It is connecting on the 22. I will save this. Uh, I will name it as uh, DevOps tutorial. And at the same time, we also have to load the SSH uh, that key as well. So go to the under the connection, go to SSH, and in the uh, under the SSH there is an auth. You will see. Under the auth, there is a credentials section. Now whatever the PK file that we have created, that we have to uh, use it. Now you browse for that PPK file. New login to is the one we have created. Load it. Now it is also received. Now just click on open. So for for the for the very first time when you try to when you access the report like when you uh, log into the machine, it will ask you this uh, confirmation. Okay, so you just accept this that one, and then you while you are now connected to the EC2 instance um, Ubuntu instance that we have created. Right now you are connected to that one again. You can just run anything. Right, it will give you the IP address. Right, it will give you the release. You can see the details here. So now you are connected to the machine. We can, we are, we are now good to proceed ahead with the requirement that what we want for. Like you can go ahead installing the dependencies or the tools or the software or as a web server, run it an application, um, use, uh, customize it with as per your requirement, install it, get the code compile it, build it, run the application, host it, any other thing would you would you like to do? Like if you want to run this as a server for as a uh, build processes, you want to have some specific tools that you want to create, you go ahead and install everything, we will be good. So now we came to the end of the session, end of the tutorial, we are now good. We have created an EC2 instance in the AWS, leaving everything in the default settings, creating a public EC2. Ubuntu mission and we also used putty to connect to that server. Please, if you have any questions or while you do the process, if there are any issues that you have uh, got, please post that in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Uh, I'll make sure that I'll reply that. Thank you.